go through it. We're in pit road now. Yes, sir. Pit road. Pit road, y'all. Well, welcome back, y'all. It is the day before the GPS 180. We are very excited. There's a lot of people out here today. Watch out for the civilian. Oh. So we're about to be taking a tour. We got Miss Brandy in the back from Bustin' Knuckles. We got, you know, Bernie Man right here. So. Sin City. We're going to Sin City, everybody. So this is like the first straightaway, and then there's a hairpin turn. More and more people were showing up to the track. Many bikers from all over the U.S. showed up early to this event to get an initial peek at the track and to see if they could handle this three-hour endurance race. But another big question is could their mini bikes handle the terrain of the GPS 180? You good to go? All right. I like the hill. Going up the hill, y'all. I can't believe people do this on mini bikes. Sherwood sure Forest. Oh, this is. With this being my first GPS 180, it was fun for me to see everyone get acquainted with the track, doing what they could to find their lines. And even though this was his fourth 180, Jason was just as excited. Where are we at? What are we doing? We are one day away from GPS 180. This is the night before. This is already nuts. This is like a circus out here already. There are tons of people already camping. Uh, right now, I feel like there's at least 150 people here. Uh, like right over 200 people have already registered. Can't wait to see all y'all tomorrow racing. I am so stoked. And for the people who put the test day to use and found things that needed a little reinforcement, the workshop. What up, yeah. what up man? How you feeling? Pretty good. What have you thought of the track so far? In my opinion, better than last year. Uh, um, so I was a little worried this morning with the rain and stuff, but I knew it'd get better yeah. once people packed it down. The practice bike, I was able to ride all day. I'm glad I did what I did, took that off the engine off because they found that crack on the motor plate. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. All right, man. I'll check you out later. Yeah, thanks. All right. Tim, I thought you had the day off. No, 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 the work there. What are we doing over here? Uh, well, we started off with an air cleaner, but he's going to have to pull his driven pulley off because his chain's all wrapped around his driven pulley. Oh, yeah, we picked you up. Uh -huh. What happened over here, young man? Going down the hill with the rocks, my I fell and then the chain popped off also. The chain leak snapped. But I'm all good. Did you, you come to last year's 180? No, this is my first year. Oh, nice. And racing. I've never raced these. You've never raced before. Oh. And your first race is the GPS 180? <laughs> San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Oh, nice. Glad you guys are here. What up, what up, what you doing? Reinforcing this frame for the big race tomorrow. Oh, is this, um... Andrew Porter's uh, The motor plate? Yeah. Awesome. Any tool you might need, we had it in there. Impacts, welders. We also had some of the most knowledgeable people working on their mini bikes, building right alongside of you. All right, it's a Friday afternoon. We're out here getting some practice laps in at the third annual GPS 180. From the mini bike YouTube all stars to the people you catch in the viral street ride outs, everyone was dialing in those last few minute improvements to give them that edge. We found one! That's my go! Go! Go, Mike! Go! Uh oh! They're ripping it! Oh, No, 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 I seen the camera go on. I said it's time to twist. Yeah. We've been talking for what? Months and months. 
so we had to rip it, dude. We probably ripped it a little bit too hard. We couldn't wait for tomorrow. Yeah. But if we're gonna break, we're gonna do I'm it today. Gonna know. If you break today, that means it would have broke tomorrow, so it gives us the night to fix it. Yeah, that's my long lost brother. Absolutely, right here, oh, guys. Man. Look at that. That's what mini biking does. It brings people together, okay? Tell me where are we at. What are we doing? We're at the beautiful GPS Ranch. GPS 180 is tomorrow. We cannot wait, man. I can't believe how many people are here already. He broke down on the trail and broke his chain. All right. Come on, Brady. I don't I'll have another chain to give him right now. All, All right. right. Go yeah. rescue my homie. First, right. we got to go rescue somebody who broke the chain. It happens. That's a part of this mini biking game, y'all. Ah, right. uh, Master Link, that's gonna be an easy fix right there. Quick fix. And that was day one. Lots of riding, plenty of building, breaking, repeating. Did you grab one from next door? No, I couldn't find one. In this uh, container over here? In this one? Yeah. And the cycle continued into the night. Some stayed up later than others. Juniors raced just a couple of hours away. The anticipation was building and busy with last minute checklists. If you guys aren't awake and out here already, uh, you missed out. Bros, this track is one of a kind. Did you, uh, your first time yeah. going up? Oh, what yeah. do you think? Yeah, it's just gonna be a good Those one. rock drop offs though, right? Back there in the back? Oh, dude, that was wicked. Like, there was probably right. good, I mean, it just, just sent it right up. I mean, yeah, that's what, just goose it right there and you'll make it yeah, right to the bottom of it. Have yeah. yeah. Like if you if ride that, over the it, it, it's scary. It'll definitely bring that back end up a little bit. Yeah. I'm out here with my boy Jack with uh, Mini Bike Coalition, yeah, but buddy. I'm also an independent rider because I want that trophy in my shop. <laughs> what have you guys done to your bike? It's just a Trailmaster MB200, uh, 212 Predator with the Stage 2, the 265 Hot Cam, 22 pound valve springs, the aluminum flywheel and rod for safety, a different flat top piston, and then the gas recoil shocks. Glad you're here. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. What's up? How'd you sleep? Pretty well. Nice. Been in a, uh, bag at the campfire. There were plenty of great builds to see, but honestly, like with any of our other GPS events, it's getting to see everyone hanging out that makes it a great time. Just trying to figure it out, that's all. I don't know what I'm doing here. I feel like you haven't slept. I only got four hours. Four hours. I'm gonna follow this guy. Well, I did you sleep? I slept like a baby. Yeah. How about you? I had like 
like not so good. good. Why? People are riding at three o'clock in the morning. Oh, I didn't hear that. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, there's a fight. They're like. 3.30 Morning everybody! It is the day of, official day of the GPS 180. And we are out about to go set up some of the action cameras being and Bernie. Taking a lap. What's going on Bernie? What's going on? How did you sleep today? I slept good because I was in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how y'all slept, but I slept in the trailer. Everybody is here and getting lined up. Banana, I'm going to keep it in my pocket. So if anybody faster comes by me, I'm just going to throw it out in front of them. Which part y'all think will be most challenging? Uh, shit, I think the hills, going up the 80 foot hills, that yeah. gonna be challenging. And sure. coming down over there, they got they got some drop offs that are crazy. For sure. My back is killing me. Big my coalition. Yeah, I heard uh, the Mystics calling the coalition slow. <laughs> I didn't say they're slow. They're slower than us. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see a boy coming. Pretty sure he was behind me the whole time. Just because I was laughing. <laughs> Well, as y'all can see, everybody's getting all riled up and getting ready. Let's go take a look at the junior track to see what they got going is, on. Is over everyone here. pretty familiar with the track? You guys all good? I have seven spotters out there to also help you guys out. If a chain comes off, if your bike stops working, we are there to help you out. Number one, push your bike off to the side of the racetrack like so that no one else. A year hits ago, you. Dude. Number two. Yeah. Just flag us down. We can see you guys. Just nuts. put your hands up. We will come up. We will save you. We will help you. Bring you back to the pits. Get you up and running. That is number one. We will, we will keep you guys safe. Number two. This is the pit area behind you. Do you remember how many juniors we had? 16, 20? Seems like about 20. Yeah. More than the year before. I don't know that. GPS 180, I'm Axel. I'm going to be flying an FPV drone. Taking around the course. Haven't, haven't uh, chased anything dirt bike wise, but we'll see how we do. Yeah, nice. What are you flying? DJI FPV. Oh, oh, oh. Before the race, I had somebody there and I said they're supposed to go this way. And then I look over there, nobody's there. They wanted a little warm up on the flat side. So, for those who don't know, this is the GPS oh. uh, Junior's race. It's a one hour race. Whoever gets the most laps is the winner. What's that all right? Um, I love watching, yeah. spectating, watching them race. So, this will be the first year they're racing the GPS 180. And I got two boys out there, and they're both doing great right now. Heck yeah. They did do good. Yeah. They did good. Yeah.
seeing the parents get involved. Yeah, we timed this lap. It's 149. So you were running pretty much. Oh, wow. Well, we don't know what the lake is. If I'm going to guess, I'd say out of 15 people. So that was just kind of an average lap right there. There was, there was a few more questions. <laughs> How'd you feel about the juniors race? Oh, it was uh, it was very exciting. Like I said, our race partner Brandon, it's like I'm more excited about coming out and watching the like, juniors get out and rip and get on a mini bike and fly. So it was very exciting, very exciting. We're killing it out there. Good job out there. Thank you. Thank you. How did you feel about the race? Uh, very tiring <laughs> and very hot. Very hot? Well, you did good, man. I was watching. Yeah, I saw a lot of them. <sighs> yeah, that pump's got to be nuts. After the dust of the juniors race settled, it was time for the crew to pick up the bikes that didn't get to cross the finish line. And time for those entering the GPS 180 main event. What's going on, Charlie? You scared of the camera truck? Come here, Charlie. To line up at the starting line. So you guys have driven from all over, all over the U.S., and I appreciate it. So thank you guys for coming out. First off, Here after this go. meeting, you guys are going to come to Ollie in a red hat. He's got a red cup. He's going to grab one number. That number is then going to let us know where we're going to line you up. One starts over here, a hundred over there. getting crazy first lap ends this trap is brutal it is vicious and this track is unforgiving 
Look at these boys right here. Look at them. Go get back in it once it gets fixed. Yeah. All right, y'all. Hold on. I am taking a walk on the track. They said somebody else broke down. I'm gonna go check and see. <laughs> Make sure they are good, you know. Um, I'm probably gonna just go have them leave their bike there and just walk up with us to the open. Just so you know, everybody's out of harm's way. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. He looks beat already. <laughs> oh, carburetor came off. What's yep. up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's I love that bike, too. Yeah. <laughs> Shouts out to Muddy Turbos. Talk about the experience, how was it? I'm feeling good, Bob. Beat up, but it's freaking fantastic. What a great race. But Joe Power Sports did a fantastic job. Thank Back. you guys, thank you everybody. He could win it. I he got broke busted his leg. through my Go. shoes. Oh. My knees are busted kind of. My yeah. helmet came off of me because ah. I didn't have it strapped up. You know, there's a lot of good riders out here. And uh, man, it wears you out though. We did it, we did a good job. So. Well, congratulations for finishing. Thank you very much, yes, I appreciate sir. it. No problem. 
Make sure you. Oh, my God. They just did uh, this track for three hours straight. I can't believe their bike did it. I can't believe their body did it. Kudos to all you. All right, and in first place, Softail. First place overall, we have MFC Racing Car and Bobby Hammond. I got up there, I have no idea. I don't know, did y'all see that? I see it from uh, here. <laughs> Junior, you like it? Yeah, I like it. Take, like a, it. take a bottle with some gas in it. Bernie bike. Oh yeah! Right, Are you certified to do this? It's a fish. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, got it. It. Oh, man, I appreciate everything you did. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, the media team killed it. You guys. I was, I was all over the place. How prepared y'all were. Camera set up everywhere. Yeah. MPB yeah. drone. <laughs> drone on autopilot. Yeah. I don't know. You guys did awesome. And yeah. then we had GoPros on some racers too. Yeah. Right? A few of them. So. I can't wait to see all this. I can't believe Burning Bike went down as fast as it did. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. I was like, <laughs> that happened quick. <laughs> that was a ton of gas. GPS 180 is in the book. In the book. It's going to get even bigger next year, so make sure you guys come on out. Do we know how many racers there were? How many teams? About 100. Like 35 more than last year. Oh, wow. We just got a lot more. No. We got to clean up a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. See you next year.